How are you? Good to see you. You ready to rock and roll? Test, 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 test. Good morning. Is it still morning? Fantastic. All right, you guys, let's rock and roll. Let's go. Very good. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you guys uh, having me out today. I'm Jennifer Bagley with CI Web Group. I know a handful of you. And today, you guys, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, helping your dealers generate leads. Fair? Is it necessary? Is it something they care about? All right. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this topic, but normally with the dealers, we have to. We have a, this is a generational business. We have a lot of old school principles happening in a new age environment. Would you agree? Yeah? What, what's dad doing? What's the neighbor doing? What's the flyer I got in the mail? And so forth. The bottom line is I love it as a speaker and a business owner. I get my information on how people buy from audiences like you. Dad, homeowner, wife, business owner. And the bottom line is in today's environment, you guys, people do business two ways. We're talking 99%, especially in a, a mostly male environment. <laughs> we have a few women that are as seen on TV shoppers sometimes. However, it's two ways. One, online. Something breaks. You need something. You're doing research. You're looking for a hotel. You want to install. And you guys are probably not fair because you probably have a lot of contractor references. But if you need something, what do you do? New product, new service. What do you guys do? You look online. Awesome. You might ask for a... Referral. And if you get a referral to another company, what do you do next? You look them up online. <laughs> so in today's environment, that's pretty much it. You have, to, you have to master those two basics and it's not going away. So one, people look online. Two, yes, everyone still does referrals. It happens differently through Facebook and text and you ask for referrals differently, get referrals and references differently. But ultimately it winds up with someone interested in buying that goes online to do research. What are they looking for? What's going to validate their, their uh, ability to move forward with you? What do they want to see? What do you want to see? Reviews. Perfect. What kind of reviews? How recent? Perfect. All right. So how do dealers make their buying decision as far as what manufacturers they're going to part with, part, partner with, what distributors are going to work with? Any thoughts? So it's really interesting. I mean, I get to talk. I've talked to thousands and thousands of dealers. I do interviews. Sometimes they're more honest with me. <laughs> okay? They'll tell me things. So I'll be able to hear what are they looking for, right? Everyone comes with the same pitch. These guys are tackled. Dealers are tackled and approached by manufacturer after manufacturer after manufacturer. What's the, what's the traditional pitch they hear when you first, what would you guess it is? What do they hear about? Okay. What else? Power distributors and manufacturers, TSM sales guys, how are they approaching these dealers? With what? What's first? Price. price and product and value. What does the dealer care about? How are you going to make my phone ring? It, that's all they want. It's that simple. It's not just about how you approach them the first time, how you keep them. Because they're getting entertained by every manufacturer that's out there, every distributor that's out there. What are some of the offers? How are they getting entertained? Big dinners. What else? Trips, baseball, trips, baseball games. We've been to shooting events. I've been on skeet shooting events. That's really fun, by the way. Okay. So, I mean, everything from that to snowmobiling. We've been on seven-day cruises, recruiting cruises. And I've got to attend these and listen to what they say afterwards. The challenge is, is that the relationship might feel secure, but in reality, how do you truly sink your teeth in and build a relationship of so much value that's different than what everybody else is doing? We have to identify, A, what they need, and B, how to give to them. Do you agree? All right. So I have a poem for you. We have to change it up a little bit. You ready? You have to pay attention because I'm going to ask you questions afterwards. The digital age requires change. It's complex, different and may feel like pain. The typical advertising agencies, they're feeling the same. 
having to pretend they understand Google code index, indexing and algorithm change. In order to stay relevant, they must say to you, they understand how consumers buy and they'll help you reach them this way. The reality is you have to have grown up in this age to truly compete, it's complex, it's changing every day. And even if you do everything right, whether they find you online or are referred by a friend, at the end of the day, the consumer will ultimately go online, do a search, and make their decision based on what everyone else has to say. It's not easy, it's not fast, it's not going away. If you wanna be in business a thousand days from today, change with the times, and don't wait for technology to go away. As a sales rep or distributor, it's your job to convey that you have more than a box of products to sell them today. They've heard it before, they'll hear it again with a different price and value proposition. So help them to understand you care about their growth and have a systemic plan to help make their phone ring. It's an ongoing process you both must commit Dykin provides the best solutions, education, and tools, custom fit. Cool? What does that mean to you? Thoughts? I'm going to start picking people. Times are changing and they're constantly evolving. They are. You guys, on every webinar that I do, how many of you have attended the um, webinar series I do online and heard any of my the digital marketing ones? Anyone? Awesome. Have you used any of that information in your, your conversations with your dealers? Yeah. Fantastic. At the end of almost every webinar, I have to say, whatever you've learned today will possibly change tomorrow. We have to be there. So you guys, we're honored to be the preferred digital marketing agency for Daikin. Our team, we're, we're spread across the nation. I have uh, team members in Seattle, Houston, Dallas, Florida, California, New York, Dubai, India, and Nepal. This process, I love the fact that the internet literally levels the playing field. It allows a solo dealer or a startup dealer to compete and look as if they've been in business for 30 years and have a team or a fleet of a dozen or two dozen trucks. We have to address certain things with them. First is how they think. All of us face the same similar a similar challenge. However we think today got us where? Where we are right now. Whatever our thoughts are, when I do workshops and trainings and seminars with dealers, the first thing I have to get is an empty glass. <laughs> because if they come to the training and the glass is full, it's very difficult to learn, okay? So part of it is there's a mindset. There's a mindset that has been instilled by many things. One, bad experiences. Your dealers have the largest target on their back. Not sure why. <laughs> However, every company that is up to no good contacts them on a regular basis. They will get phone calls that say, hey, this is Google. I've reserved a page one position for you. You can get it today. I've only got three spots left. You gotta call me today. Call me back, call me back, call me back. And they'll get five of those calls a day. They will get calls from website builders who build a template website that is based on technology that's 10 years old, unreadable by Google, and they'll promise that this is going to help them grow their business. They'll get calls by local directory listings, HomeAdvisor, Yelp, everything under the sun trying to get their money. So we have to go through a process. We have to clear their mind. We have to help them think differently. One of the biggest things we have to teach them is what to say no to. Not no, not ever. Just no, not yet, <laughs> okay? All right, so strategy, clarity. Without clarity, you cannot focus. Without focus, you cannot execute. If you don't execute, you don't win. So we have to take these things in sequential order. Now, that being said, any dealer that's looking at a website, the challenges, that's all they're looking at. To them, it's no better than this, for the most part. There's handful of them, handfuls of them that have been relatively successful online. And then something happens, we get a call and they say, we've been with the same provider for the last X number of years, all of our business, 90% of our business is coming off the internet. We lost our rankings, everything dropped, our business is suffering, I have people to pay, I have insurance to pay, I have trucks to pay, 
I have office space to pay, and I don't have any leads coming in. And it's simply because they just stayed stagnant. It's never just a website. It's never. When they get approached by a web or a digital marketing agency, usually it's a sales rep with the list of wares and tears on the pretty little catalog, and they're just going to sell what they have available. It's more than that. Your dealers run a business. You guys know as well as I do. A, if they generate a tremendous amount of leads, what do they need to have available? People to answer the phone first. <laughs> they have to have a way to process the leads. If they have more business opportunities, leads and opportunities for new installation, new service, new um, replacements, changeouts, tune-ups, whatever it is, they also have to have technicians to fill the job. If you build a website that's solely for lead generation, you invest in just that and you don't think about what it takes to run a business, what are the administrative requirements? How can the technology help you reduce your labor, and your labor costs? How can you leverage technology to reduce the number of staff, people, make you more organized, have data? Most of these dealers, the majority of data that they have is only what resides in their QuickBooks account. That's a problem in a marketing world. You're supposed to keep leads, prospects, emails, all of these things so that when you're in your off season, you have something to follow up on. You have something that can keep you busy. So logistics, operations, making sure the website, part of that is for recruiting, making sure you're always acquiring new technicians, new installers, at least their resumes so when you grow, you don't have to call in and say, can you guys turn off my pay-per-click ad? Because <laughs> we're full. You don't want to do that. You want them to be positioned properly so that they can continue to grow. So leads and sales, customer service, communications, it has to serve more purposes. Operations, customer retention, it has to save them time and make them money. Everything in this environment, and what you've got to teach these guys is it's not about buying a website. It's about doing the right things in the right order at the right time. That's why I say one of the number one things we have to teach them is how to say no, not now. There are predecessors. There's a series of sequential steps that have to take place in a digital world in order to have the best leveraged asset from that dollar that you've spent. You guys, simple interest versus compound interest. What's the difference? Compound does what? What is it? It compounds, it produces more and more, right? So here's an example. If I come and speak today and I don't record it, I don't, I don't create a digital asset, do I have something that can produce compound interest or simple interest? Simple. One small change, recording it, putting it in the back of the room, having a 30 minute presentation broken out into 45 different three minute videos. I didn't do the math on that, so don't divide it, okay? <laughs> I take those videos, optimize them for each little segment, upload them to YouTube. What's gonna happen with the YouTube video? What happens over time? It gets views, it grows, it provides compound interest. Anybody ever woke up and said, God, I wish I could just clone myself? Guess what, you can. You totally can. <laughs> That's the great part about today. Now I have a digital asset, I can upload it to YouTube, drop it on my website, put it on blogs, I can send it to my social media sites. In fact, I can even schedule them to go out every 75 days for the next 15 years and never put a hand on it. Is that effective marketing? Absolutely, we have to get there. All right, this, this is my spider, okay. I did this one myself, so <laughs> bear with me. At the top, you guys, your website, that's home base. That's ultimately home base. You know as a homeowner, as dad, as wife, husband, father, whatever it is, you know your process when you're looking for a new company, a new product, a new service. You get the referral, you look them up, you glance at their reviews, then you go where? Go to their website. You know you have an immediate perception when you get there. <laughs> Putting in a new air conditioning system is not cheap. <laughs> I just put in a new furnace. So a side note, when I got the proposal for the furnace, he gave me three options. One was single speed, variant speed, and modulating speed. Did I get that right? I had no clue. I was like, geez, I'm a, I do this for a living. I do marketing for HVAC. Like, I don't know the difference between the three. I would love to have three videos before I started the process that simply explain the difference and how each one of them works and what type of a climate and how I should make my buying decision. That's beneficial. All right. 
They wait. They give all this information at the table when you have consumers that are researching way in advance. Just imagine being in front of them if they were looking. So your website is first and foremost. It's essentially, it's Alex. It's me. It's you. It's your best salesperson. It should resemble that. Does it take vacations? Does it come in sick? They require L and I sometimes, yeah. DDoS attack will do it. You saw that a few weeks ago, okay? Absolutely. Essentially, it should replicate everything you would want in your best salesperson. It needs to look good. It needs to be smart, intelligent. It needs to be able to answer all the questions, have incredible presentation skills. Everything Alex said, that was fantastic. Can the website do it for you while you're doing something else? Sleeping. Yeah? Second, content. A website is an empty shell, a casing. No content, no go. It's your voice. If you stop talking, do you stop selling? It's the most under-budgeted piece of any marketing campaign. Under, I should say, not existent. <laughs> we learned the hard way. 10 years ago, we got into the HVAC business. First set of clients, they bought websites. Totally said, we'll send you our content. Like nine months later, <laughs> still waiting. Right, you can't do it, so we don't do that anymore. I don't want anything from, <laughs> from them. I need a logo and a picture of your truck. <laughs> That's about it. So, CRM, conversions, next. You have to have a holder, you have to have a place, they have to be organized. Having things come in on web forms, having just phone calls come in, it doesn't work. Having a CRM system, an online scheduling system. Consumers are now doing their searches from their car, at stoplight, on break, on lunch, at work, anywhere that they have, they have access to anything. But it doesn't mean they can call right then. So we can't leave it to a consumer that the only conversion on a website is, click to call. Doesn't work. And it's worse now in the HVAC industry, so many of the dealer websites, if you go to their website and you tap on that phone number and a Google box doesn't pop up, or your phone doesn't place that call immediately, they're out. Consumer's gone. They shop different. Next, SEO. You only make money on, online a couple different ways. That's one of them. I'll come into that in a little bit. Blogging, reviews, local listings, social media. Every one of these. Local listings, for example. There are 70 local listing sites. You guys have heard of many of them. Yellow Pages, White Pages, um, Yelp, City Search, Merchant Circle, right? All of these different. Bing, Google, Yahoo. They have business directories. Google validates a business based on its full digital presence, not based on a website. Who wants to know, or you actually, you know, come back to that. It looks at everything. So if you only have a great website, but all your local listings are bad, problem. You guys, in sending dealers to us to do it a free valuation is worth it for just one reason. Well, two, I'll say one, because knowledge is power, two, Nine out of 10 dealers that we wind up doing a report and an analysis on have their listing up with someone else's phone number. Usually it's an ex-employee or a competitor down the street. What does that mean? They're using their brand but snagging all their calls. Sometimes it's just defense. Okay, video, email, mobile app. This is a process. We call it the 12-step roadmap to achieve accelerated results. Those are the 12 steps. They have to be done in sequential order. If you're investing a ton of money in third-party advertising, promotions, anything offline, in pay-per-click, just imagine, you spend five grand on pay-per-click, drive them to a website, the second the consumer gets there, they're immediately turned off. Good investment? No. We have to do things, everything has to be in the right order. This is a machine. Without getting too complicated, it has to work like an engine. Everything is interconnected, it has to be connected that way. Additionally, it's not a one and done. These guys that buy a website like printing a banner, it doesn't work like that. It's a constant, constant process of refinement and change and evaluation and continued development. Every quarter we have a strategy session with our clients. We push, we're like, they call us stalkers. So we're like, you need to meet, you have to take, they don't wanna look at it, they're like, no, I trust you, go, no. <laughs> We need to go over this, it's important. Your business changes, the market changes, technology changes. There may be huge missed opportunities. So every quarter, the goal is identify what's next. I always tell our clients, have a what's next mindset. What do we do next? How can we save more money, save more resources, make more money, increase our profits, speed up? Next, do more of what's working. 
That's the easiest one there is. If this is making me money, do more. It's really simple once you understand the mathematics behind it. Whoever they work with, you guys warn them, no long-term contracts. If any company ever comes to them and says, it's a two-year agreement, tell them to run. <laughs> they have bad experiences and no company should have to do that. Love us or leave us. Makes you work harder to, get, to keep your business. So warn them about that. The dealers, warn them about letting companies buy their URLs for them. It's one of the biggest ways they get stuck because the marketing agency owns their URL, their website, their baby. <laughs> that's, that's their everything. So, all right. Your target markets, depending on where they are, when the initial analysis is done, their customer may not be their first target market. If they don't exist online for the top phrases in your industry, and yours are pretty simple, on the air conditioning side, it's AC service repair, installation, maintenance, tune-up, replacement, change-out. Those vary by air conditioner, installation, service, replacement, change-out, too, okay? In the heating and air conditioning, not cooling. So if any of you guys have cooling pages on your website, cooling is an activity, but consumers don't look for cooling service. So we, we need to be familiar and educated enough to point out these real quick, quick red flags. And you'll learn a lot of that in the webinars, yes? Awesome. All right, so their first audience is probably going to be a robot, not a human. Robots are unforgiving. Google is a, is a, a beast. <laughs> it is simply a mathematical equation that they must succeed in in order to be able to get in front of what? Humans, <laughs> right? Then we have to switch gears. A, meet Google's requirements, get in front of Google. That gives us the ability to be placed in front of real people looking for exactly what we do. B, we immediately have to switch gears. Once you have rankings and traffic, we have to change over and go, oh, we got to humanize everything. Now we have to get personal. We have to disguise the fact that we sell heating and air conditioning systems and that we are a service company that completely cares about the comfort of your family. We have to switch gears and it changes by season. You guys, have a, you guys keep us really busy because every two months we're going, it's getting hot over there, it's getting cold over there, it's warming down over here, you should see our maps. All right, so marketing plan again, that has to be a system. It's gotta be a working machine that's put together piece by piece by piece by piece. Which means there is no fancy product. Everybody wants a package. Tell me your prices, tell me your package. I have no clue, I don't know what you need. <laughs> no idea. We actually use our brain. There's actually logic that goes behind figuring out. We do a SWOT analysis in the beginning. You guys, it's totally free to all of your dealers. This is a benefit of, of what Daikin brings to the table. It's a lot of effort and a lot of hours. I mean, we usually by the time we're done with this process, the SWOT analysis and strategy sessions, we're looking at four, five, six hours plus about $300 per report or series of reports. It's worth it to get your dealers in this. During the SWOT analysis, we have to identify what are your strengths, what do you got? You dress up like a penguin every, every fair? We have one that does. That's, a, that's an asset. That's something we can use. This guy is, <laughs> John's penguin, they, AC penguin. He dresses up, he's in this fair. They weren't taking pictures, that's a missed opportunity. So strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. What's a threat? What could potentially hurt them? Number one. Number one. You can have a website ranked on number one of Google in the top 250 phrases in 15 different cities, and if they have four bad reviews on Google, Google Maps, guess what happens? They don't convert. Imagine what you would be spending only to not get the conversion because of one missed opportunity. Like I said, they're normally talking to salespeople, not business analysis people, not people who ran companies, entrepreneurs that understand all of the different elements. So X's and O's of business strategy, offense and defense, you gotta play both. I'm not gonna go through all this. <laughs> However, they're critical. Just pointing out a handful on the infrastructure side. They gotta own that URL. It's so important. If they don't own it now, it's a simple process. We can help anybody through it. Your website has to be responsive. Grab your phones. Can I see your phones? Pull them out. Let me see them. <laughs> I don't mind your phones being on. Just take pictures of this side. 
Okay, so awesome. Are these new? Not this one specifically. Is carrying your smartphone new? <laughs> okay. Their websites are still not responsive. This industry is behind. We're not supposed to be talking about responsive right now. We're not supposed to be saying, oh, gosh, your website should work on a mobile device. No, phones have been here for a while. We are worried about wearable devices, one inch by one inch watches, how that's going, VR searches. We are worried about Google AMP project, accelerated mobile pages. By the time something comes out, you guys, a website lasts for a minimum of 18, maximum, I should say, of 18 to 24 months before the technology changes so much that, to, that what they have actually needs to be destroyed and rebuilt, <laughs> okay? All right, converting marketing, it's, it's more than this. So we have the infrastructure. We have to have engagement tools, very important. We have to make sure that we're converting leads. We have to make sure that the website is then marketed. All of these things are part of the engine that produce results. They can't be left out. They can be scaled, but they can't be left out. <sighs> 3G's the leads. There's only three ways you make money on the internet. Three primaries. One, Google business listings. That's Google Maps. You do a search from your phone for a heating and air conditioning company in Houston or Katy or wherever, guess what it pulls from? Google Maps. Google business listing, i.e. Google Maps, it's free. I just talked to a dealer the other day that paid a company $2,500 to set it up. <sighs> I feel bad because they just don't know. Google rankings being number one, page one, in an organic search. And Google AdWords, pay-per-click. Different type of consumer, different value proposition, doesn't have as much of a long-term or compounding interest impact on your business, but important. This matters, this is click-through rate. Position one, organically, not the ads, not the maps. 18% of all clicks are going to happen in a page one, position one. 2% or excuse me, position two, 10%, position three, 7%, position four, 4%, 3%, one, 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 one. What happens if you're sitting on page two? Absolutely. So when they say, oh, I'm on page one of Google, no, you're in position eight. It's less than 1%. On the flip side, we have clients that have been with us for years that we've got them to own, they, have, they get a little feisty, we've got them to own page one, position one, two, three, four, and five. What does that do to their click-through rates? Math, rank matters. In order to compete, three primaries. So let's say you have everything right, all the infrastructure's right, the technology, the code, your web, everything's right. Google cares about three things and it's the same three things your clients want. Same three things your dealers want, same three things their customers want. Are you relevant? Meaning, do you have specifically what they're looking for? Has to be labeled. Are you current? How frequently are you content, content or posting content, talking, speaking? Are you trusted? What do other people think about you? Content. It's your voice online, your ability to speak. It has tags and labels so it can be filed neatly. Why? Because people want to be able to find things easily. It's endorsed by many trustworthy sources. It's been around for a while, so it allows me to be resourceful. I expect to find anything I need online, and I will start looking when I'm ready to unwind. You might be closed, and that's okay, because your website's still working while you're away. I personally like videos. My husband likes blogs. I'll read the reviews. He'll check the FAQs. All the technical jargon, it just freaks me out. Without a translator, I can't figure it out. I just want to know you care. I want warm or clean air. Okay. Whatever product or service you sell, you should try wearing a disguise and see it through my eyes. If you can treat me like family, I will be raving. Fan, of course. So don't leave without getting my feedback. I will surely endorse. Let's just make it easy so I don't have to click the next result. We can't leave a home without getting a review. It has to happen, and it's not difficult. A lot of people think that's hard. It's not hard. It's easy. We do it all day long. I have dealers that have thousands of reviews. They just need coaching. They need one systematic tool and a little bit of coaching. That can be, go a long way. It's not about re review acquisition. It's about not losing the missed opportunity, review acquisition, gaining trust online, and leveraging those reviews for other benefits, like higher rankings on Google and more business. You got to have time, 30 days per 100 phrases. I'm going to explain that. 
Everything is about, you know, show me, don't tell me. I always try in our educational sessions with our dealers to make sure they have at least a couple tools so they can validate what I'm saying. Don't trust me. I want to arm you with the, the tools, a handful of tools online produced by Google. Google SEO 101, it's a PDF guide, 2016. Everything I teach, it's going to come from a master, not from how I can, what benefits me to sell a specific product or service. We have to pay attention to who's doing the grading. And only two people are doing that. Google, the robot, and the end consumer, a homeowner or a business owner. The solution, so for you guys, we try and make this really easy. We want you to take advantage of us. Like you own us, you have a marketing company that will do a lot for you and your dealers. One, we're working on a dealer locator system for geo-based, uh, the ability to find dealers and help market them on a local basis. Two, you can book us to speak. Obviously, I like to talk. So if you have a dealer meeting, if you want to do a workshop, I have two kinds of presentations. Both work great. One for existing dealers to help them grow. And another one is based on we can help you figure out strategies to recruit, recruit new dealers to meld that relationship and to make it stick on an ongoing basis. That's what we do. All right? Webinar series. It's obviously on mine, on the university, on the Daikin website. In addition to that, if you want to do something local, we love going out, doing a, uh, a webinar that's going to announce a dealer meeting, what's coming, what are they going to learn from coming there. We create a video for you, professional video for you, announcing that the, the dealer meeting is coming. And then on top of that, we record at the event. So a session like this, we'd record it, slice it and dice it, break it into pieces, get reviews from everybody that's in the room. So you created a, a group of digital assets. So next time you're talking to someone, you say, look, this is what we do. You don't have to, it's replication. In addition to that, we create landing pages. We have email marketing campaigns to help you market and build the attendance for those events. And finally, you guys, we want to keep them motivated. Event-based <coughs> marketing is really hard. Event-based education, even more. Event-based continued motivation, very difficult. People only retain a small percentage of what they get at an event. The goal is you have to engage them and keep them there. So webinar series is great. We have a ton of different tools. You guys can use this website all day long. CIfreereports.com, grab your phone, take a picture of it. CIfreereports.com, it's yours. They sign up, we pull all their reports, and we go over them with them. Today, so it's mine. <laughs> all right, next. We have a marketing guide. So I do, I write eBooks all the time. For those that are really bored or are total nerds, they love them. Okay. This is HVACMarketingGuide.com. It's a great ebook. It's an introduction, but it gives some kind of some of the things I've talked about today. You're more than welcome to hand it out. It's as simple as send them there. So this is one of the things, you know, just get introduced to it. Now, for you guys, if you are interested in having a strategy session about how to grow your area, how to build closer bonds with the dealers you already have with the distributors. Distributors, same thing. If you guys want to, to sit down and have that conversation, we love brainstorming, we're strategists, it's what we do. We probably already have a plan in place. We have something we've already designed, built, that we can replicate for you so that we can launch this with these. Our job is to make it as easy on you, the distributors, and the dealers as we can by us being the experts, brainstorm with you, getting your feedback, but ultimately it relies on us to get the job done. Cool? How am I on time? We out? So you guys, text this. Grab your phone. All you do, hit the text message, create a new message, type in 44222. In the message thread, just put Daikin, hit send. Don't use the quotes, just put Daikin, hit send. It's going to send you a response saying accepted. Please reply with your email. Type your email address in there. Hit send again. And we'll make sure that Beverly or one of the ladies at our office sets up time for us to get together and brainstorm. That's the fun part. Is this helpful? Are you overwhelmed? We have webinars for that. There's also Advil. <laughs> okay. You guys, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it very much.